balls. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Face Disgrace here again with another episode of The Beginner's Guide, the spiritual successor to The Stanley Parable. So I have not touched this at all since I last played it for a recording, so I'm excited to get back into this and figure out what's going on. Uh, guys, I just want to remind you, if you end up enjoying this, feel free to hit that like button, maybe subscribe if you haven't already, even share it with your friends. Helps me out a ton. But without further ado, let's get into this. The Great and Lovely Descent. All right, so we just got this house. Reminds me of Courage the Cowardly Dog. You guys remember that show? In the middle of nowhere. Whatever. I can't remember exactly what it was. I used to watch let's that show. Used to scare me. Let's talk about video game development oh. for a second. All right, let's talk Every about it, man. video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines yes. what the game can and cannot do. True. So, in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Yeah. And Engines are very important. Unreal Engine is to currently make all of these games, the most Coda popular, is using but an engine there are other Source. engines. Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's oh, working oh. with what the engine does well. We have a white stair. Is that the... Is, is the this tools the stairway to heaven, to the but it's downwards? Shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. Okay. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear boxy corridors. Well, thank goodness we have this boxy toilet, though. Everything is boxy. Now that you say that, it's going to bother me that everything is boxy. If you guys don't know, Source Engine is actually the one that Valve uses on a lot of their games, so... Half-Life, I think, runs on it. Left 4 Dead, I th also think, runs on it. A lot of people use it for mods and stuff. It's a it's an easy-to-use engine from what I understand. Wow, this is bizarre. Wow. Did I, like, take some drugs before I did this game, or what? Holy cow. Okay, so now we've just got some first-person... Oh, goodness. I am terrified of heights, and that is absolutely terrifying. First person platforming because that's always so fun. Uh, uh, Alright, we're doing it. Tally forth! Okay, good. He did not program fall damage. That's good to know. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh, I thought I fell off into oblivion. Oh my gosh. Okay, Mr. Narrator Guy, anytime you're ready to explain what the heck this means, I'd be ready for it. Wait, what's good? What's down there? Looks like we found something. Oh, okay. See, so, I mean, I could have... I could have just fallen the whole way down and probably been fine. All right, well, let's see. We've got this underground labyrinth thing. Totally... I've been playing horror games, so random things opening now makes me frightened. No. Well, it's a good thing we got this giant concrete bunker. Nobody will find our hidden base underneath freaking... Where'd they go? Spacey trip... Trippy things. Okay, now we've got like a pulsing. What's going on here, man? Where do you want me to go, Coda? Show me the way. Oh. He showed me the way. Uh, what? Whoa, okay, we're on an elevator now. Okay. I can roll with it. You want me to go in there, or do you want me to go there? I'm gonna go in here first. Oh, that was... Funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. Really? Holy if cow. Mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Yeah, let's not be stuck. Why would he... Oh, no, this no, 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 no. he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable. Whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And yeah. so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Huh. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. Huh. There wasn't. Now that is what we call petty revenge. Holy cow. 
So it's really interesting, this Coda had a very unique take on game design, and he saw it much more as an art expression and a form of release and creativity than he did as a form of entertainment for someone else's. I think he, it seems, at least from these games, that he saw himself creating this as more important than someone playing it. Which is really, really unique because obviously, you know, it's in video games as an industry and usually you want the player to have a good time because if they have a good time then the game will get good reviews, it'll sell better, and you'll make money for all the time that you poured into this. But Coda seemed to be doing this just out of pure passion and love of actual game design. You can see why these games are so unique is because he was not doing this for profit, he was doing it for himself. Oh, is it's this gonna be the same again. one? Yeah. It's the exact same solution as the last time. Alright, well let's do it. Haha, -ha, you didn't trick me this time. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. Looks like the Umbrella I'll Corporation share with you my here. Interpretation very shortly. That sounds good. And that's another thing is that these games are up into interpretation. And I think that's critical to art. Honestly, if I write a song, what's it saying to me might be different than what it's saying to somebody else. Listen. I am listening. You there, did you come from up above? Here, Coda begins what using was up a kind there? of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Yes, Use the was... one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Uh, I'm gonna do the floating colored blocks. That's the world above you've been there. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yeah, I did. Why would I not? No, I didn't do that. Tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the other signs. I don't remember how I solved it. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. I didn't solve it. Someone else, trust me, you don't want to go over there. Well, why can't I just tell them? What's so bad about telling them? Listen. What is he, he What is he trying to say? Trust me, you don't want to go over there. I didn't solve it. Someone else let me in. I, I don't remember how I solved it. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. But I. that's a lie. I guess I have to th say three because I don't want to lie to them, but... Oh, no, but I do. We do. We need to get there. Do you understand? It is the most important thing in the world. We have to escape this prison. There must be an ending. I promise you, there is nothing I want more. And that's it? That's all I can... This is... Oh, so now we're in another one. Are we seriously doing this, man? Do we need some more endless Lukes? What? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I had to pass through that puzzle. The black space... Have you seen it? Yes? Why would I care? Actually, now that you mention it. I remember feeling strange. Now, why would I care about the black space between the doors? There's nothing there. There's reason, but it may take time before you understand, which is fine. You'll see it again soon. And then we go. Oh, okay. So now we're, we're going somewhere. This looks like a Doom, old school Doom design level. And so we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. Do you mind, narrator? I was having a little jam session. This is the final thing of the lesson. What is he trying to say with this game? I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm usually pretty good at interpreting art because I thoroughly enjoy art. I love... Yeah, Okay. it is. I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going like, to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Huh. I'll tell you what, what I think. What does it mean to him, then? Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Yeah. Because now I, he wants I mean, something I guess... to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination. Well, that's understandable. Which is understandable. what this lamppost is. It's a destination. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And okay. as they go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Alrighty then. Art is a very therapeutic 
sense of creation, I think. At least to me personally, when I was going through hard times, I like to write poems that I never share with anybody because they suck. But I did it for myself to help express how I was feeling and to make sense of my emotions at times. And it seems like Coda here is doing that, but through video game design. And I can understand wanting to have a destination because, like, with these videos that I'm making now that I've been doing for the past month, almost six weeks now, I want the destination to be fun. I want it to be entertaining, and I want it, you guys to enjoy them, which is why I'm doing them, but I'm also doing them for my enjoyment as well. I like making the videos. Wait, did this read something? Nice room. Not. Okay, so we got some critical... Dot. So first off, I'm sure you can Octagons, use this, this game How do you beat is not this game? connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. Well, yeah. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. No this point to this. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. Hmm. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone Whoa, else was holy doing. Shit. So right away I was like, I have this to be is, friends with this person. This is... Very in interesting. Respect, I looking. think I was probably a bit too bushy trying to get his attention. Can you guys hear me? I was over enthusiastic. That's but okay. He was very gracious he was excited. about it and very patient. He was just excited. And I cooled off eventually. Hello. Hi. Reasonable. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Everyone, read Either this. Way, to me, they convey a sense of loneliness. This place makes me I sad. I see this person who's filled with hey. thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them I want to tell you except a as scattered a I and did. unheard voices in a game that wasn't Define meant to be played. fun. Balls. <laughs> but it's ironic, isn't it? That <laughs> in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually <laughs> kind of connect with him. Oh, gosh. And I have to be honest with you. This idea is really Ooh. seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the Jesus messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you Boring. through your work. I think this is why I always liked Dakota's games so much. Is because it felt like they let me have Sailors that connection. Sailors are looking for it. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. Guys, just like I want to talk with. Too. I guess I get that. I guess I get that this is a space where he's just kind of sharing random thoughts he has. I love how right as he's like talking about his sadness and loneliness, I run into one that just says balls and that's it. Butt ass butt. But I can understand why he'd get really excited seeing something like this as a fellow game developer. It's like. Back when I was in college and I'd hear somebody that wrote a really good song, I'd get very excited about that because I was working on some stuff and it wasn't very good. But then when I saw that somebody else could do it and do it unique and had a good voice, it got me excited. It made me remind myself of why I enjoyed doing music and why I enjoy creating. Uh, now my creativity's kind of switched over to, to this, which is video making and trying to make people happy. That's why I do this is I want to make you guys, you know, have a good time and relax for a little bit, even if it's just for 10, five, 10 minutes while you watch this video. How far is this or more room? At the end of this yeah. level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. What does the puzzle mean? Each narrator? of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Hmm. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution. Yeah. He understands exactly how it works. And so it gives him a simple Ooh. mechanism for moving on. And because there's this dark area things. between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment. A few seconds okay. to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To that grasp makes sense. At that elusive okay, I'm move forward. bigger picture. So what he's saying is that this is kind of like closing the chapter, and you have to turn around to find the lesson from your life to get this door open. You know, as humans, we like to grasp on things that are familiar. They help us. Holy cow, it's getting loud. What are all these typewriters? With the lamppost. 
Are they actually moving or just sounds? No, it's just the sounds. Are you there? Please say something. It could be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Speak, 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 speak. Alright, guys. Well, I am going to call the level or the episode here. This is getting really deep in into some places that I honestly did not think this game was going to go. But I'm really, really enjoying this one. Guys, as always, if you enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe share it with your friends if you think they'd be interested in this game. Once again, my name is Face Disgrace, and I hope you have a good one. Peace out. And on an axe staring at a bear for three hours. You run a shop and sell it to your... Ah, let's go. Final time. Let's go, buddy. Nah, I'm going to kill you. You suck. Whoa. Everyone will pay. Blood. And another dead body. <laughs>